Hello everyone and welcome back to Chaos Creations. Well, um, as you can tell, these are some of my good old boys from back in the day. This was 1990 GW style and, you know, for 1990 it is pretty stunning, isn't it? Even today it still holds up. You can still see the Beastmen, you know, the Trolls, the Disc of Zench, the Slanash Corn and so forth. And the Chaos Space Marines. And I have been a little bit naughty, and I decided to put some on 25mm bases. And I also got a Slaneshi one. I took off the base on the bottom of it and just popped him on there. Or she, I should say. And also I've got a couple of bases of the uh, Marines on a 25mm base that is made for um, the new miniatures. But, you know, they're a bit, a bit more roomy on those bases, but they're still kind of cute. Why? I just got bored, I guess, and wanted to try stuff out. Now, um, a couple of things. Uh, I've been talking with a lot of people over the last 24 hours, 48 hours, about GW products in general. The general consensus is that... Now, this is Australian prices. I live in Australia, so I'm going to go with Australian prices. If you don't know about Australia, we get a bit of a shaft when it comes to GW products. We don't know why. But if you did a straight conversion from, let's say, American to Australian, then add on 40%-ish, that would be your figure for what we pay in Australia. It's not a tax. It's not a, a shipping thing. We have no idea. It just is what it is. And New Zealand gets it even worse. Uh, anyway, so what we're hearing is the general rumours are for three tanks, this is in Australian dollars, three tanks, you're looking at around about 80 bucks for three tanks. Drop pods, you'll get like five for 80 bucks um, and so forth. Now, this is concerning partly because it is a lot of money it is a lot of money you know 80 bucks for three tanks really <clears throat> and also the fact is that are they going to keep it you know, on the shelves so people can save up and buy 80 bucks for three tanks which is another problem that gw has it sort of comes in looks awesome flashy wow 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 boom it's gone and you can't buy it anymore i hope that's not the case but uh, a lot of people that I follow on Epic and people I talk to quite regularly are saying the fact is uh, they're not going to do Epic or Allegiance in products because they just, A, can't afford to, uh, and B, they're just concerned that, you know, if big bills come in, they're going to miss a unit of uh, planes or a, you know, a unit of this, you know, that, and they're going to have to go on the black market onto freaking Ebays and so forth and pay astronomical prices. So the other consistence is 3D printing. Now, a lot of you will know that I owned a 3D printing shop for many years, uh, and I printed out a lot of stuff. Now, I only work now with PLA, and the main reason I work with PA, PLA only is because I had a lot of resin printers, and through no fault by anyone else's but my own, I took some damage to my lungs. And you can always hear them whenever I talk, I <gasps> A big deep breath in because you know my lungs are just a little bit damaged so i will never work with resin ever again ever and it's sad but it's my own stupid fault um it was in a beautiful well ventilated area um the printer was and the printer was very sealed up and it had a vent but when i took it outside it was a very well ventilated area but you know i didn't use a breathing apparatus because I thought, well, it's you know, wide open spaces. Why would I need to, you know? And that was my own stupid fault. Anyway, I digress. So a lot of us are now talking about the fact that we may unfortunately have to go down the road of 3D printing. Now, for me, that means I'm going to have to buy people's resins prints, which I don't like particularly doing. I do like to support the hobby. And, and yes, I do pay an astronomically huge price for GW stuff, but once again, I do like to support the um, hobby. But even I am having reservations at the moment, I must admit. You know, 80 bucks or even 70 bucks for three tanks is not good. If it's you know, 80 bucks for five tanks, all right, fine. You know, that's, a little, that's a little unit of tanks, not a problem. Five tanks, six tanks, good. Away we go. But, you know... So, and also scale. I mean, is this the correct scale? 
or is this a correct scale? Which is which? You know, and I've got rhinos that are smaller than this. And to be honest with you, I think a lot of people, they're not going to care. They're just going to print out a bazillion of them and go, well, it's close enough. And so be it. I mean, I would love to have everything perfect to scale and, and to have them on the battlefield. But that said, I'm starting to get very concerned. Um, if it's going to be, you know, 80 bucks for three tanks, what or more I end up doing is buy a lot of the stuff that I really can't print in any way, shape, or form, like the flyers, infantry, things like that, and buy them and then, you know, print out some of the tanks, you know, when I need a couple of, you know, a couple of extra Lehman Russes or a, you know, a Bane Blade or something, whatever I need, just print it out. And it may not be as beautiful as the rest of it, but it's going to have to do. Also, the thing is, um, you know, while I'm I'm doing pretty okay for, you know, 55, I am concerned about money, as we all should be. I mean, even if you're a multi-millionaire, you should still be worried about money. Penny pinching always helps out. So if I can cut a few corners with some prints, unfortunately, that's the way I'm heading at the moment. And it really does hurt. It really does. I mean, I, I, I said that these were just going to be for painting only. And up until today, that's all they were going to be, just painting only. But now I face the realisation that I might not be able to afford it. Uh, you, know, you have to understand, Australian prices. So the Leviathan box set for Australia was 420 bucks. Now, don't get me wrong. It was a beautiful, beautiful box set. Absolutely gorgeous. Miniatures are phenomenal. But 420 bucks. That's pretty steep. So I'm guessing the main box set will be around about $500 Australian, $460 maybe, maybe $420, around $400 to $500. That's the main box set. And then after that, we're going to be, you know, chomping out change. Now, look, some of those things like the, the Knights, oh, shit, yeah, I, I, I'll buy them, not a problem. Those Knights are beautiful. Um, and I've got the Adeptus Titanicus box, and you only got a couple of Knights in there. So, you know, a few extra nights on the board are going to be wonderful, beautiful. Um, and there are other bits and pieces I'm going to pick up, but I have to, you know, understand the fact that as much as I want, I customers can't have. So, for all the people out there, that especially in Australia, <clears throat> if you know somebody that owns a printer, or you own a printer, um, now the files... Um, I've had no problems getting the files offline. Um, you can go around to Colts 3D, uh, Thingiverse. The, the, I've never paid for any of these files. They're all no, free. I think these bases uh, and these little round bases, I think I paid something for those. But, you know, they're just beautiful, colourful bases. This stuff, this stuff, this stuff, you know, all of these things I found on 3D print places, pretty darn easy i think if games workshop right now just removed them all from every web page it would still be out there and you know games workshop aren't stupid they've got to know the fact that if it's everything's too expensive people are just going to walk away from the hobby which is what i'm seeing now i mean up until let's see um about two months ago um just before it was supposed to come out in August, and they said it wasn't, but around that time, I would have spoken to regularly around about 30, 40 people that were very interested in this game, really keen. Now, there's nine. And, you know, if the prices are too high, that number's going to dwindle again. So I'm hoping, uh, in this day and age, that's all you can do, that some common sense will hit GW, and they know that if they want to get lots of people in regularly they need three things they need to have it at a decent price i mean fine you've got to make a profit i understand they're a company number two uh the blister packs have got to contain enough miniatures to make it worthwhile three tanks for 80 bucks no five tanks or six tanks for 80 bucks yes not a problem and i would buy that all the time not a problem you know, six tanks 80 bucks not a problem come on down and lastly, they need to have stuff that's always going to be there for at least a year. 
And this is my, that's the last one's my main concern, the fact that GW have a nasty habit of bringing stuff out and it hangs around for a month, maybe two, whoosh, gone. Now, this has been done by Forge World, and I'm hoping that Forge World will keep it, you know, on their webpage for about a year, if not longer. By then, the hobby will grow and grow and grow. You, the hardcore players like me, we want it. We want it. We want to play it. We want a bit of nostalgia back. We want that epic scale. We want huge battles on the board. The casual player, they're the ones you're going to have to grab, guys, because, you know, the casual player is going to walk into a GW store and go, well, what's new? Oh, this epic. Oh, I remember that. My dad used to play it. Oh, and now I'm feeling old. Or, oh, I, I played that a little bit before it became out of fashion. Hey, well, let's pick it up. Oh, wow, there's lots of selections out for it. Not a problem. Let's go. And that's what you want. You want lots of people coming into the store and seeing a new a new game or a game that's been out for like a couple of months and see a huge array of books and of, you know, miniatures and so forth. Now, don't get me wrong. I understand the fact that GW have got plans for this game. I'm, I'm sure, I mean, I've heard rumours of Primarchs, you know, coming out and so forth and you know, the Primark book and, you know, this and the other, and I'm sure that's all in the works. I'm just hoping the fact that we can get enough of them around the world so people aren't, you know, using proxies like Galore. And if you, look, if you want to just buy the rules and do everything by proxy, that's that's up to you. Um, I would love to, I would prefer to have mostly GW stuff and, you know, a couple of bits and pieces where I either A, can't afford or B, just can't get hold of. But, you know, they'll have Primarchs and they will have, you know, specialties and they'll bring out the, the tiles so you can play the game and so forth. And all of those things are, are loved and needed, but I'm just hoping they're going to hang around for quite some time. Because, I mean, realistically, I'll buy the box set. But, um, now, if the tiles come out, I mean, you need 5 by 4 Does that mean they're going to have a box set of 5 by 4 all the tiles? I don't think so. I think it'll be a case of, you know, you can get a, you know, uh, a one metre, oh, sorry, one foot by one foot square for, let's say, you know, 60 bucks and you need a whole lot of those. And that's fine. You know, you can pay them bit by bit as long as they stay in stock and you can regularly get them. So we'll see. All right, it's about 12.30 here, just after midnight in Australia. I'm going to go to sleep uh, and tomorrow... Hopefully, my plan is to paint all day. It's going to be Australian weather, 36. Beautiful, beautiful weather. Everything should dry nice and quickly. I can get most of this table done. Fingers crossed. Everyone have a great day. This is Chaos signing off. Bye-bye.